Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about some of my most commonly used makeup and some of my least commonly used makeup. I saw this idea on the, um, I think it's like a beauty subreddit of some description and I was like that is an excellent idea because there are definitely a few items that I have that I just consistently reach for and then a few that I have that I never really use. I also just think it's a really nice um, like alternate video. I don't always want to be bringing in new products, especially since a lot of the products that I do review don't actually end up staying in my collection because I have other things that I like. So this is like my long-term like outstanding favorites in a way. So for primers or bases, I don't really have a most commonly used primer because I don't necessarily always use a primer. I do have two in my collection, but I only very rarely use them and it's usually for a specific reason because I'm putting it together with a more matte finish foundation. So I'm not going to show any of these primers because I don't really commonly use them. I apologize for the sun that is just coming in and out of clouds. We're just going to deal with it. For foundation, I would have to say that my most commonly used foundation is actually the Etude House Double Lasting Serum Foundation. So I'm about, what, it's like maybe like a third wave the through of this, but it is such a beautiful color. I have Y03, which is ivory, and it just works so nicely with my skin. This one is the one that I would reach for if I was doing my makeup, like on a day-to-day -day basis, as long as it's not too long of a day, because it doesn't have the best longevity, but the finish on my skin is beautiful, the color beautiful. It does rival my NARS Shea Glow in terms of actual color, so they're both very pale, very yellow toned. You can actually see that I've used this NARS foundation a whole lot more, so I've only got like one third of this left. However, this one has a really terrible formula for my skin. Um, it doesn't work well, and so I use this for a very short term, um, like maybe if I'm going out for an evening, I would use the NARS foundation but it's very uncommon that I actually wear this. I do a lot of swatches with it, however, or I used to. Um, I don't have very many foundations anymore. I've only got four, so there's not much point like swatching them all the time. I used to have so many. For concealers, I very rarely use concealer. So again, I'm not going to show you anything. I do have two, but I just very rarely use them. My next most commonly used makeup item is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is my second um, little pot of this and I have been using it since the end of 2018. So only about two years now, but I am truly a convert. I just absolutely adore it, it is very expensive, but it makes my skin look so beautiful. Um, and so yeah, ever since I started using it, I have fallen in love with it. Which is unfortunate because it is $88 or something like that in New Zealand. So it is pricey, but it does last a fairly long time. So I'm still like, it's hard to tell how much is in here because I cannot open, I cannot get the sifter off of it. But I would say that it's still got at least like a third left. So this will do me at least until the end of the year, if not into 2021. For brow products, the product that I use on a daily basis is the Innisfree Two Tone Brow Kit. I have mine in the shade number two, which I believe is grey. And I have made a significant dent, oh my gosh, I can't open it, <laughs> a significant dent into the darker color. So with this one, it is a two-tone shadow kit, so I'm not going to wiggle it around anymore. There is one color over here that is quite small, and then the big side over here is the darker color. And I use this darker color to fill in my eyebrows. I'm very lucky, um, I have quite a lot of eyebrow hair naturally, so all I'm doing is basically filling in the gaps, just darkening them up, and this works perfectly for that. Continuing with the eye theme, wait a sec. Continuing with the eye theme, I don't, I'm gonna give like a tiny exception to the rule and say that my most commonly used makeup item, even though I don't commonly wear eyeshadow, is the Etude House Fake House Palette. I got this at the start of the year and there are two shades in here that I just always reach for, always. And they are one matte shade, which is, right, so the matte shade is called Beach Coconut, which is the lighter brown of the um, mattes. It's kind of like a very neutral color. So this works really beautifully. And then Rusk Latte, which is this beautiful, like translucent shimmer. And the combination of these two is what I wear like every single time I want to wear eyeshadow, but I don't want to have like a specific look, you know, like I want it to be, cute sparkly neutral growing up but still like a little bit useful at the same time so out of all the eyeshadow palettes this is definitely the most used out of everything that i own even my naked palettes which i have had for a significantly longer amount of time i would say that this because it is just neutrals i mean i pretty much just use those two colors <laughs> on a day-to-day -day basis sometimes i mix it up and use some of the other shimmers or like the other like mattes because there are 
a few options. You know, you've got like warmer mattes over here and then the cooler mattes. Um, there are so many options with this palette that are just neutral and I just, I love it. <laughs> For liquid eyeliner, I pretty much always have a liquid eyeliner on unless I'm doing a specific other look. I actually have two of them at the moment and they are the Dolly Wink liquid eyeliners. I have my main and I have my backup because, oh man, that one is atrocious. That one's got like... <laughs> little things coming out of it. This is my main one, which I have been using for quite some time. This one hasn't given up. I don't know why. I went through a phase of going through Dolly Wink liners like every third month or something like that, which is probably how often you're supposed to replace them anyway, but they were just running out of ink. I usually keep two on hand um, because I find that if you store them tip down and let them rest, there is so much product in there. But if you store them sideways or um, sometimes they just kind of have a little bit of a bad day and you can't get them to work properly, it's so much nicer to have a second one and to do like the finishing touches. So normally with my main eyeliner, I will do the basics of the eyeline and then I will go over um, and just smooth out the wing and everything with the newer one. So I pretty much always have two. When one is like dyed completely, then I will purchase another one to go along with the, the next one, which will soon die afterwards. But I have been using these, I would have to find out when I started using them, but it was very close to the beginning of my uh, KBD expeditions, I would say, that's not the right word, expedition is not correct, my KBD adventuring maybe, I've been using KBD since like 2012, so I don't know, sometime in that time. For mascaras, I generally bounce around between a bunch of different mascaras, so there haven't been any mascaras that I have purchased over and over or, or have had for a really long period of time because obviously mascara and eyeliners are ones that you want to replace fairly regularly although like to be fair <laughs> this is probably well expired oh wow it's not I mean it's probably supposed to be like thrown out after you've opened it for a certain amount of time but it expires in 2021 so I'm safe for a little bit longer I think um but the mascara that I'm currently using I really really like it um would I consider it a most commonly used item I use it every day but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it in the video because I haven't repurchased it. I probably will though. So if I do this video again next year, you may see it. Then we come to cheeks, and I absolutely have one that I love for this one. This is by NARS, which is not a K Beauty brand, which you notice that I do intersperse between K Beauty and Western Beauty brands. I actually don't know where NARS originally is from. Uh, but anyway, this is a NARS blush and it is in sex appeal, and it is a really, really pale peachy orange and this is just the most beautiful color if you have a fairy complexion with a very warm tone. It just looks so natural and so beautiful on the skin. I use this all the time like if I'm going out like on a date, if I'm going to work, if I'm going to do literally anything. Like it's really natural, it's very youthful and so I have not been able to find a KBD dupe for it because people have been asking me there's not just that exact same peach that I have come across yet. However, I will still continue. I have not been wowed by any new releases and blushes in quite some time though. And then the last product is my go-to lipstick, the lipstick that I use pretty much all the time. It goes with any kind of look. It is from Innisfree. This is one of the original cotton velvet inks, cotton ink tints maybe. Um, I can't even remember what these are called. I don't know. Uh, but this is number seven and it is the old version of number seven. There is a new one in number seven, but it is, um, yeah, it is this one. So this is also number seven in the in this very cotton vivid inks, but it is like the orange. Obviously these are two very different colors. I do not think that you can buy this anymore, which is really, really saddening to me, but it is so beautiful. Um, it's the perfect shade of like beigey rose pink. And it just looks so good. There is a really close dupe for it though. So it's one of these Bia tints. <laughs> these are Bia Last Velvet tints. One is in 16 and one is in 17. Um, and one of them is very close in color to this Innisfree Velvet in number seven. But it just looks so good on my lips. It's very natural. There's not very much maintenance that's needed for it, which makes it really ideal. Like if I'm going out and I don't want to mess with my lipstick, which I do on a regular basis. <laughs> this is the one that I pick up and honestly like it's disgusting because like with these tints they're quite liquidy so like the inner rim of this is awful um, and I cannot clean it because it's all up in the top of here as well and it's just like it's a bit vomit inducing to be honest like I'm actually grossed out by it but I still love it. If I could buy another one I would 
but I can't. So I will live with my disgusting tint. <laughs> so then there are a few things that I would consider my least used products and pretty much all of them are not in this room. So I'm gonna take you guys out to show you what my least favorite product, what my least used products are. This is not to say that they are my least favorites. I'm just kind of having a look through this drawer um, to see what I use the least. Lip liners. <laughs> I have very like general lips, I guess, like they're not the most even, but I don't usually try and even that using lip liner because I'm lazy <laughs> and it would require more maintenance that I'm willing to do. I have a red lip liner because I find that it's easy to um, draw the shape on with a very dark um, lipstick. This gives me a bit more precision. So if I do wear a red that suits this, I have my MAC Cherry Lip Pencil. And it's a wonderful product, don't get me wrong. It's just that I very rarely use it. I did get a pink to see if I would use it, and I don't. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Contempo. Again, a really lovely product. This is a bit cooler in tone than I would like. I would like a rosier red, a uh, rosier pink, sorry. Um, but I would definitely consider those two lip pencils, the only two lip pencils that I own, some of my least used products. So now I'm gonna actually take you guys into my second room. So this is the guest bedroom. I'm gonna take you into my actual room where I have what I would consider my vanity products. Apologies for the wiggly camera work. I did not bring my tripod with me because I have to zoom in anyway. In my bedroom, I have a set of drawers and on top I have my rotating storage. This is from Etude House and it really is very beautiful. It's got some beautiful scallop details. These little things here are removable and as you can see from the sides you can actually put them in different heights so that you can store different things. So this has pretty much got um, the vanity products that I have. So anything that has really beautiful packaging that I want to be on display. So for the lipsticks I have got a set of Dreaming Swan lipsticks which are just very cute. I don't mind the formula, but I very rarely get use out of them because I have nicer lipsticks. I've also got the Etude House Etoinette collection. This is number two, so that means that they are the white collection. And then I also have Etoinette collection number one. I think I am still missing one color from this collection, which was very frustrating, but at the same time, equally, if I had an extra color, I wouldn't be able to fit them all in this little square uh, triangle. These ones are also beautiful, but again, I have nicer lipsticks. So with these ones, I think that like this color is extremely pretty, but I have other nude colors that I also like. So that one is PBE001. But yeah, a lot of them are very lightly used. Beautiful pink, but it makes my lips look um, atrocious. Um, and they're just there because I adore the packaging of them. So then I've also got on the bottom shelf here one of the Etude House Etoinette um, powders. So this is in the version 2 packaging and basically it's just a sparkly powder um, and I have not really used it because I don't need a sparkly powder but I wanted the packaging. So you can see kind of like a little theme here you know like I love beautiful packaging but a lot of the time the beautiful packaging um, it's the products are not that great you know this is a highlighter I actually very much like this highlighter but I never use it <laughs> and then we have two blushes which again beautiful but I don't really use them I think also for the blushes I am very worried about the hearts on the inside so on the inside these have got like these little heart um, baked blushes but they're really fragile um, there are actually a lot more of them so there are I think nine in total or maybe eight of the actual hearts themselves you can mix and match the colors like if you want this darker color more you could take out some of the other ones and add more of those orange ones but i have them kind of like in storage somewhere because um i just don't want them to get broken which i know is like really silly because obviously they are there to be used but i don't know what it is the blushes themselves actually are quite lovely so there's the pink one so cute I just love the packaging and yeah that's pretty much my least commonly used items anything that I have decided is beautiful enough to be on this storage on display I forget it exists which is so sad um, I used to have these on display in my actual room where I had the actual makeup last year but 
there isn't room for this in this other room so unfortunately it does have to stay here and yeah they're still beautiful so that is it for my most commonly and least commonly used makeup items i hope you guys enjoyed hearing about the products that are currently in my collection rather than something that is new let me know if you have any other requests along the same lines i think i've done my favorite lipsticks and stuff like that like favorite collections last year if you would like me to do those again, if you find those kinds of videos helpful, please do let me know and I would be more than happy to do those for you. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you on the next one.